Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Mahoka Koko no Yuto Se, episode number 12. Okay, the previous episode, um, we got a little glimpse of the monolith code, uh, Tasuya versus, you know, the other uh, opponents, the other schools. And within that, there was, in the background, a lot of things were happening which we never got to see in Red Tose. And uh, that was shown in Yuto Se, the previous episode, where uh, a lot of, what do you call it, like, the no heads dragon they tried to actually sabotage uh, sabotage the whole match because they did not want uh, Tasuya's team to win so yeah like um like you know like everyone like amy um, um, mitsuki or like you know like all of them they decided to uh stop that and you know uh stop the sabotage and they were successful in doing so without even letting anyone know Tasuya obviously was able to understand when he kind of, you know, checked the ground during the match. He kind of checked everything and realized that there was something going on and Miyuki took care of that. So, yeah, like, obviously we knew what was going to happen. He won in the monolith code. We kind of got a little glimpse of what happened. Not the full fight was shown, but the ending portion of it was shown. And, yeah, so we are almost at the final stages of the show and this episode and the next episode will probably focus on mirage bat so let's see what how this goes and yeah like we all know what's going to happen we know the know the elder result if you've seen retto say but still let's see what happens it like it will show us in more details like the, ma the actual final match between id and Miyuki will probably be very interesting to see so yeah so without further ado let's get started this episode number of Mahoka Koko no Yuto Se. I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here, sync it to whichever is the preference, and let's get started. Alright, so here's the countdown 3, 2, 1, go. Day 9. Oh, yeah, okay. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what the? <laughs> Two more days. Oh, there's still another one left. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, like, he kind of feels the whole pressure on her. But it's Miyuki, so <laughs> everything will be okay. And Tasha is also backing her up. Yeah. Okay. Ah, oh, probably her. Yeah, family. Oh, God. Hmm. <laughs> wow. Yeah, okay, but hmm. 
Okay, well... Now, one thing that... I think I did not realize it in... Reto said that this is a, the category that Miyuki is participating in is in the senior category. I never realized that. Uh, as I said, because Reto said really did not put much attention to these matches. It was just like shown in... I think like two or three episodes they wrapped everything up. So I really was n not aware that yeah this is like a senior category. Like I think they mentioned it and I also like, like heard that but I think it kind of went out of my mind. So like it really makes sense now why Miyuki was kind of concerned about it because this is not even her category. This is like a senior category that she's participating in which was supposed to be Watanabe was supposed to be participating in so yeah like like number one it's the senior category number two he is filling in for the ace that is Watanabe who like you know like so she has the pressure of actually living up to the expectations of that position that she is filling in for so yeah, like these things probably kind of bothered her. But as all we all know, like that's it is there. So and we know what happens in Mirage Bat. <laughs> so okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh yeah, okay, this happens. I forgot about it completely. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh no. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, now what? Oh. Oh, great. What is wrong with the people here? Ah, oh, okay. Uh, okay. Wow. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. <laughs> um yeah okay well i guess it's better than everyone hating on him <laughs> you know god hmm. Oh, 
Oh. Okay. Well. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> True. Okay. So did that say hand uh, the? Oh my god. Wait. Oh yeah. Okay. This one. Well, okay. Oh, wait, she got, yeah. Hmm. What? Okay, who won? Okay, oh, it's, it's qualified, okay. Okay, there you go. I was thinking, when was she going to use that? There you go. Here it is. Ha! My god. Okay, so this is when she's going to use the... Okay. I forgot its name, actually. But... <laughs> this actually lets her fly. <laughs> no one jumping around. <laughs> My God. Yep. My God. Okay. <laughs> wow this makes her really what can i say like gives her such an unfair advantage <laughs> there you go yep Yeah, no one even has it. Like, Tasuya got it because, you know, he's one of them. <laughs> yep. Like, really, I really feel like <laughs> this gives her such an unfair advantage, like, immensely. Like, <laughs> what can you do jumping around when there's a person literally flying in front of you? Like, how even can you beat that? Unless and until you have the same technology. <laughs> God.
we can't reach hollow camp with them yeah but oh she is also participating here oh no she's the uh, okay she's the uh, yeah so what she's what's she going to do now like yeah like she she has to jump so i'm guessing she'll try to get as many possible within one jump or something like that yeah hmm. okay that's what she's going to do Okay, well, yeah, true. Hmm. Oh. Oh yeah, this was supposed- oh my god. True, like, everyone will be very much suspicious. Wait, is this like a... ploy? No, I think it's the head- no, his dragon nuts are actually doing this. True. Great, now what? What? Oh, oh, wow. Removing the limiter. Okay, I kind of forgot this section. What happens here? Like, oh, yeah, they're here. Like, how? <laughs> Oh my god, here we go. <laughs> oh great. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Yeah. <clears throat> Hmm. 
Mm. Yeah, he doesn't use his no, original. Oh boy. What? Oh, okay. <coughs> hmm. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so they all of them are Okay, okay. Alright, so here we go. Yeah, like otherwise it would have been very, as I said, like unfair advantage. Like how would it even work? Oh boy. All right. <laughs> Everyone's like, look at this. Okay, so now I'm guessing everyone's going to fly. They said Okay, there you go So yeah, it, it's kind of something like that uh, So probably I don't know We'll see in the next episode Like, I'm guessing everyone's going to fly now And that's happening at the same time in the background, the whole thing with the no head dragon is also happening. <clears throat> okay so this was the penultimate episode the next episode will be the last one 
and yeah okay so okay so here we go <clears throat> all right so this episode here we we two ma two match yeah two two or three matches we see here and uh first of all the whole thing with um just a sec where was that uh the the, the girl i forgot her name um the one who was also competing uh, with miyoki what's her name who fell down no just a sec Deco, that was her name? Yeah, I think. So, her. Now, I think I forgot about this section completely from Reto Sai. Like, uh, it did happen where she kind of falls down. Obviously, she was saved by the tournament, um, the referee. But, yeah, and that's where we get to know the tampering that has happened. So obviously it's like the red, uh, the no head dragons are behind this, and you know, like so. <clears throat> so she gets disqualified, not disqualified, but she retires from the match, and Yuki now has to, uh, you know, like take both of their places, like uh, fly on behalf of her as well. So from. From the beginning, it was like a little pressure because she was standing in for Watanabe, but now she has like, you know, like, but there was still someone else with her. But now, yeah, she's all alone now. And. Okay, so. <clears throat> so, obviously, we can see that like Tasuya and uh, Shibata, the, the girl, uh, I think that Shibata was her name, wasn't it? The, the glasses girl, black haired glasses girl who. Um, who has like you know who, whose eyes is uh, eyes are special that like, they can you know, like you know she can like uh detect those spirit you know these type of stuff she's very uh, accustomed to these type of things both of them were able to understand what's going on when they were tampering and i'm guessing Tasu was keeping an eye on the people when they were checking double checking the CADs and he found out uh, one of the tournament officials messing, trying to mess with the uh, with Miyuki's CAD, and obviously we know that uh, anything else that's why is really you know not that much. But whenever something uh, which involves Mitsuki, uh, not Mitsuki, sorry, what am I saying? Miyuki, Miyuki comes up. Yeah, he goes crazy completely because obviously we know that he like the only emotions that he has retained in his head is his affection towards Miyuki other than that everything is gone and that's why you know like all like you know she's he's so strong so only Miyuki's uh, you know his his affection for Miyuki is there so yeah whenever something like that happens he goes completely crazy and <clears throat> that's what happens here so now okay now I'm guessing like after this that problem won't be able to won't happen that's why the no head dragon started <laughs> they kind of had another conference where they decided that yeah and uh, like yeah nothing's going on nothing can be done so what do we do we start um you know we start attacking the people so, like there'll be like a huge chaos a huge commotion <laughs> the tournament itself is shut down so why like like obviously they were planning on making some other team win because they had uh, the money on that and first time uh, you know like uh, uh Miyuki's team winning would become like a source of loss for them so now that they're seeing that <laughs> that they, yeah like they're going to win they're like yeah let's shut down the whole damn thing <sighs> wow <clears throat> and i don't know the, if they're going to show us what like you know happens to them after in the next episode you know by the end like, they are brought to justice by the end of it I don't I, I'm not sure if they're going to show us that but yeah like they're they won't get away with this we all know that okay so one thing that we saw here and I really cannot remember if it happened just a sec where is it okay this one uh, 
the Irish friends that say yes the tournament staff has disclosed first high CAD's information it's likely that all of the schools will be using flying magic in the final there you go so okay one thing I was a little bit confused here is like uh, you know they're saying that everyone will be using flight magic but why did Iri why was Iri so concerned about that because he also will be able to use flight magic won't she because they said that the uh, the technology has been disclosed to everyone and all the school knows now so okay now this thing I'm, I'm, I was quite confused about she says that if it was only Shiba I'm confident I could take them all okay I understand what she's trying to say but wouldn't she also be able to use flight magic now so wh why was she saying I think okay I think something he says after this kind of explains that just a sec okay but if everyone's going to be using it we can't beat first tie if we all uh, if all we can do is merely fly okay I think uh, th they were properly they did not explain this portion I think but I think what she was trying to say here is like that even if they have the flight technology I won't be able to fly as smoothly as Mewtwo because okay here's what they say she's already used in her element when she uses flying magic now there's something that superficial knowledge can't cure so I think that's what she was actually trying to say here like it, like it's good that all of them have flight magic now and that means Irie can also use it but she is not ready enough to use it like they suddenly got that technology in their hand and this is like the first time they're going to use it so obviously Miyuki who has practiced about it and whose element in itself is very accustomed to flight magic as she, I think she said something like her uh, like you know element helps in it because she's able to like you know kind of like I don't know like float around like a fish in a way like you know just like how fish kind of swims in water she can kind of replicate that because of her element in the sky in itself so that that's probably another reason why Miyuki was able to master this so quickly and she's able to use it so nicely like obviously it's kind of understandable because if suddenly someone <laughs> I don't know like if someone like holds you a jetpack and says that okay like here you go like now you fly and you know compete in the mirage bat like obviously that's kind of impossible because you don't even know how to use it and you're not accustomed to using it so like you know at the, at the beginning few tries will probably just like you know be very unstable like kind of won't be able to control yourself while in flight but it'll take a little bit of time after like 10 or 10 or 15 times you try will probably start getting accustomed to you so I think that's what uh, Irie was actually concerned about like he's saying that it's not only Miyuki we have to deal with but all the others as well but at the same time you know even if we have the flight skill uh, even though we have the flight skill as well because it was disclosed by the tournament officials uh, you know it, it's not good enough to actually defeat Miyuki because Miyuki is accustomed to it I am not I think it's something probably like that that she was trying to say here <clears throat> okay and yeah the, and then this she says that there's also the risk that unfamiliar magic could cause us to self-destruct so these were the concerns that uh she was having now i'm guessing uh in the next episode we'll see so i'm guessing everyone's going to fly now and that really does make sense in a way because I was kind of thinking uh, I said like you know I kind of said this before I really do not remember much about this section you know what happens so and they really didn't even show much of it in Red Tose. so I really wasn't able to actually uh, remember if all of them used flight magic or was it only Miyuki so it really kind of made me feel a little bit odd because I thought that okay like so Miyuki only has flight magic so how are they even going to compete in the finals like ID and the other schools like how possible like however strong like you know like, however good she is in her jump magic and you know and jumping however speedy she is in that however fast she is obviously she cannot compete with someone flying like she'll have to jump 
like even if she like jumps and takes out two or three targets one uh, at the same time you know that the time it actually takes for her to from top to go back down you know during the jump because of gravity and then jump again the time it will take in that time Yuki will take out three or four more targets and obviously it will be a very big advantage towards Miyuki because she is she doesn't need to like you know like jump she's just in the sky floating so yeah like it was a very like i kind of that's why i thought like was this really going to happen like so it will something it will be something if this really goes on like this like all of the schools are using jump magic and Miyuki is using fight magic so yeah the, the final score would probably be something like uh, I don't know how many of the targets there are, but I'm kind of making a rough estimate. Probably something like Miki has 50 points and all the other schools and teams have like 10 or 20 points. It'll something, be something like that. This much, you know, one-sided. So, yeah, it, it, it really felt weird for a final match, a final ba battle. So, that's why I was thinking like, how is this even going to happen? How is I even going to participate and, you know, like how is she even going to be an equal match for Miyuki because this is like a final battle it seems like it's in the last episode and everything is like you know kind of is uh happening like it's it's like a final battle so <clears throat> it really I, I at least felt weird if I, I would feel weird if Miyuki won by a huge margin so yeah this makes sense now so everyone can use flight magic now and I'm guessing Obviously, ID herself is going to uh, not be able, it's not accustomed to it, but still, she can fly now at least, you know. So, yeah, that will probably help them, you know, like the immense one sidedness will go away now. Like, everyone can fly. So, yeah. So, yeah, the, the, this, okay, so now it kind of feels like a final battle, you know, like otherwise it would have been too one sided if Miyuki only had the, that. Uh, you know flight magic and she could only use it it would have been weird especially for a final battle so yeah and i don't know if like you know like people watching this like as i said like a lot of people probably won't even know that uh this has like a original show which is called mahoka koko no Retose, which shows us the major thing this is just a spin-off you know, Retose is a lot more, what can I say? <laughs> you know, we see a lot more of Tatsuya and damn, like, uh, whenever he comes out and uses his power, is so cool. So, yeah, like, Retose, like, I don't, like, you know, like, as I said, like, I don't know how many people have actually watched this. And it, it's, there will definitely be a certain amount of people who is watching this first and will probably get to know that, yeah, this has, like, an original anime, which is Retose, and probably watch it later on. But for those people, you know, like this, like, you know, this, this, this episode at least probably felt a little bit weird because of the whole flight magic thing, uh, you know, suddenly introducing Toro Silver and, you know, suddenly it seemed as if like, you know, that's why, like, but everything, like all those things are kind of explained in Reto, say what happens, how does Miyuki even get hold of the flight magic, why does Tatsuya have it, you know? And who is Toro Silver? All these things. So I think it's all of them are in Red Tose. So they really didn't even bother giving us an, you know, explanation here. So yeah, it'll probably feel weird for people who's watching this for the first time. But yeah, like just you know, if Red Tose has all the answers to that. All right. Anything else? Um. No, that's it. So yeah, the next match, I don't know what's going to happen. Like, uh, obviously Tatsuya is there, and all the other, the other guy, the, the the lady, I forgot her name, the one who knows Tatsuya, you know, um, those that, that I, I completely forget his forgot her name. Who's Tatsuya's ally? You know, who was in the spectator seat? She, I'm guessing she, that's where all of them will be on the lookout for any type of people coming here and bothering them. And I, th and I think that phone call was actually something like that. Like they probably figured something out that, yeah, people are going to, the terrorists are going to come here. No heads dragon are going to come here and try to mess the whole thing up. So yeah, they'll be on high alert. And I'm guessing that's where and all, like, you know, them will also be, 
be on the lookout for them nothing problematic in that direction would happen because Tatsa is there you know and we know that she he doesn't want anyone interfering with Miyuki's <laughs> you know Miyuki so yeah he'll be on an extra lookout for everyone that's you know that's something that won't happen I guess or even if it happens even if people come you know the, the terrorists come and try to mess things up they'll stop them but yeah that was that like that's going to happen and that's on their department that's when all of them will look after that the main thing here is that we have to keep an eye out now is Irie versus Miyuki who's going to win and yeah we know what's the answer what the answer is but still I'm quite interested to see how the match will actually go like you no know, like, because everyone can use light magic now yeah I'm guessing it will be something more on the same level and it won't be you know like Miyuki gets all the points and no one is able to do anything I and Miyuki will probably have a good fight in the next episode so yeah all right so uh, one thing that it's kind of I, I don't know like you know and I think it kind of uh, what can I say it kind of makes sense because these 12 episodes like the way they're doing it is kind of similar to how Retose did it like Retose's first 12 episode was also something like this like you know the first section uh, you know Tasso getting in the school the whole weed, like you know weed bloom thing the whole like you know Ken, like kendo thing that happened and that thing uh, the Blanche thing that was the first few episodes and then the next few episodes was this high school competition and this probably I think this constituted the first 12 episodes or something like that and the you know like and this is also similarly going in the, the, the 12 episodes of Yutose is kind of the same it's kind of keeping the same pace as Retose so I, I, I think that you know the the nine school uh, competition was a little bit dragged out in my opinion in, in Yutose because I don't think it, they needed like four or five episodes to actually show everything it kind of like you know as I said like a little bit dragged it out but you know as I said like they're keeping it's the same pace as Red Tose so I guess that's fine but I feel like they probably dragged this section a little bit too much and this would have probably been better it would have probably been better if this had one or two less episodes than the amount we're getting and you know like the, the, the pace feels a little bit slow in my opinion but yeah like it's better than actually skipping stuff and we also got to see a lot of things you know like the situation of the opponents their past and stuff and yeah so <clears throat> yeah the next episode final episode the final match and yeah let's see what happens so that's that's it guys this was my uh, reaction to Mauka Coco no, you to say episode number 12 so if you guys enjoyed this video please be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know i'll check them out so yeah so thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next week with another episode and the last episode of mahoka coco no you don't say so until then goodbye and have a nice day